He has a massive heart and a huge will to win and that has carried on into his life now. He tries his hardest at everything. Um, he's amazing. I have had Albie living with me for the last two years. Between the months of March and July, we go hunting every weekend. The field is made up of everyone on horses and we follow the master in the red coat and he leads the field. And the huntsman is in the other red coat and he looks after all the hounds. We follow the hounds across beautiful country countryside. We get to jump fences, catch up with friends and see some amazing farms. It's a great day out. So many people talk about life after racing for thoroughbreds and I'm lucky that Albie had so much life whilst he was racing. Joe did so much with him so I haven't had to expose him to anything. He's done it all and he's teaching me now. In his racing career he raced as Tally Ho Twinkle Toe. He was predominantly a jumping horse. He is still the only horse to have won both the Grand National Hurdle and Steeplechase here in New Zealand and in Australia. Applaud one of the greats, ladies and gentlemen. He is a trans-Tasman Grand National Champion, Tally Ho Twinkle Toe. Tally Ho Twinkle Toe and Sean Phelan wins it by 12. He is one of the greatest of all time, Tally Ho Twinkle Toe, 70 kilos and all. The jumps out on out on the hunt field are very varied. You have the normal wire fences, there is alkathene around wire, there are spars, there's hedges and tape. Obviously I didn't have to teach this horse to jump. Knows what he's doing and he certainly doesn't need me to help him, he forgives me. <laughs> I would absolutely choose to have a thoroughbred over any other breed of horse out in the hunt field. Sometimes you can be going hard for three hours and no other horse has the stamina that a thoroughbred has, um, especially on the hills too. And they just don't stop. They have amazing stamina, but you get a good thoroughbred and they have an amazing brain. They're smart and clever and they have self-preservation. He's the easiest horse I've ever had off the track. Joe did so much with him. He's had the most varied life, so I haven't had to expose him to anything or retrain him. He has the most beautiful nature. He's great with my daughter. He's great with everyone, all animals. He's great around the hounds. He's just really easy to have around. And he had so much exposure whilst he was racing that I think he probably saw the track least out of everything um, <laughs> because he just did so much. And he, Joe's horses are her babies, so he's always been treated like a king and I just want to carry that on. It's so nice to see thoroughbreds out after they've finished racing, even just out hacking, doing western. There are so many different things. It's important that they have a life and are loved after racing and we're just lucky to have them. I have been so lucky to be trusted with this horse and I will be forever grateful for that. But it's not all about going out and winning ribbons and trophies and all of that kind of thing. I get to see him in the paddock every day and that is the most important thing.